Hey, what's happening, everyone? I'm Tyler Feldman. Look who it is. Yeah, Trey Mitchell back in Austin for the first time since transferring to West Virginia. And get this, since losing to the Longhorns back in late January, Bob Huggins and his Mountaineers have won four of their last five. Rodney Terry and fifth-ranked Texas, meanwhile, hey, they're just trying to stay atop the top conference in all of college basketball. Dylan DeSue, Serge Abari Rice, they hang up the phone during pregame introductions, but both would have no problem answering the call during the game. DeSue, the pride of Hendrickson High, one-handed jam. He had eight points, Longhorns on point early. Rice for three, yes sir. Season high 24 for the shot fake king. Then what more can we say about Timmy Allen? Crossover, mid-range, got it. Eclipses 2,000 career points with that bucket. 14 on the day. Texas pulling away. Allen so hot. Fans even asking him to be their Valentine. But the only kisses Timmy would give out today would be off the glass. Longhorns near perfect in this ball game, forcing 20 turnovers, committing just six, missing just one free throw. Artario Morris, he had 12 points off the bench as the Horns throw down on the Mountaineers. 94 to 60. Largest Big 12 win for Texas since 2010. Now 20 and 5 overall, 9 and 3 in the Big 12, and 13 and 4 under Rodney Terry. Here's Terry post game on Rice's impact. I think without a doubt he's he's uh, he's the best six man in the, in the best league in the country. He's really over the last three weeks uh, has done a great job with his attitude and approach to practice, and I thought it's carried over in the games. So you got to be able to step up when your name's called. Obviously, everybody's not going to have a good game. Start of five is not going to have a good game every single game. They're not going to have a good start. So you got to be able to have a, a good bench coming off, and we got to be able to support those guys just like they would support us if we were having a bad game. Just six games remain for the Longhorns. They next play at Texas Tech Monday night.